Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Facebook Live. My name is Jeff Palmer. I'm the CEO and founder of Clean Machine. And today we're going to be talking about D3, hormone D3 to be specific. I know most people go, uh, go by the term vitamin D3, but it's actually a hormone, not a true vitamin. Um, uh, the hormone can be produced by our human bodies, initiated by uh, sunlight. Um, but uh, since most of us are working from indoors these days, um, we're not getting enough direct sunlight over our, our bodies and can uh, find ourselves in vitamin D deficiency. Um, so vitamin D is important for a lot of things, and I'm going to refer to it as vitamin D just because that's the way most people know it. But remember, it's technically a hormone, and that's going to come into play on why it affects so many different things um, rather than a, a vitamin or a nutrient um, that usually has much more specific or targeted effects. This has very broad reaching effects with over 200 different tissues and cells having receptor sites for vitamin D3. So this is pretty interesting because vitamin D3 has obviously been shown to boost and help immune support. And if you want to do a real deep dive on that, on why D3 directly affects immune support by enhancing the production of um, immunoproteins, um, uh, specifically um, cathelicidin, I did a great video all about why vitamin D3 uh, actually helps support our immune system to create the immune response, both innate and, and um, uh, adaptive immune responses that actually support our body's ability to kill viruses, kill, uh, destroy viruses, um, support the immune system so that it recognizes how to defeat them in the, in the, uh, in the next stages, and also bacteria and other pathogens. So very important for immune health. Check out my um, video on vitamin D3, um, but also understand that vitamin D3 uh, is ideally absorbed in the body when you consume fiber. By consuming fiber, you are supporting bacteria, your probiotics in your gut that actually activate the vitamin D3 when you take it in supplement form. So make sure you're consuming, when you're taking vitamin D3, you're consuming a good high fiber uh, plant-based diet with it too as well, this will maximize the body's ability to take that vitamin D3 and convert it to the 25-oxy form of vitamin D3 that is the active form that actually gives you all the benefits. It's interesting, they found people on a low fiber diet consuming the lowest amounts of fiber, but actually having high sun exposure actually still did not even convert the sun well to vitamin D3, they actually had low um, blood levels of active vitamin D3. So even getting a lot of sun, these were people shown in San Diego, California, they tested in this study, high amounts of uh, sun exposure, low amounts of vitamin D3, all because it was affected by not consuming enough dietary fiber. When you consume the plant fibers, that fiber feeds the bacteria. The bacteria then can bloom and multiply and actually make that uh, vitamin D the bioactive form of vitamin D, which imparts all the health benefits. So remember, with vitamin D and the fiber, also, when you listen to my, um, if you go back and listen to my uh, vitamin D3 on immune health um, video that's on our YouTube channel, that's Clean Machine Online at YouTube. Um, if you go on there, you'll see how fiber and D3 actually work synergistically together to support our immune function. D3 upregulating cathelicidin goes and destroys the viruses including COVID-19, and the fiber actually um, being feeding the uh, microorganisms in our gut, which produce butyrates, and then the butyrates actually causing the uh, adaptive response, the innate response to go attack, destroy the, the virus, and then the 
uh, adaptive response. So the fiber then helps with the adaptive response by increasing butyrate levels. So D3 and fiber really go well together, not only to increase absorption, but also to go hand in hand with the innate and the adaptive response of the immune health to make sure you're attacking that uh, uh, pathogen at the same time bringing down the inflammation so the inflammation itself is not harming you. It's a great video. I go deep into the science and why people who are overweight, people who are uh, uh, have darker skin color, um, all the different reasons why people get um, flu more often uh, or other viruses more often in the winter, it's because our vitamin D levels are at the lowest. So lots of stuff on vitamin D, but this video is about how vitamin D actually helps muscle growth <laughs> and strength and performance. So why is it so important? And more importantly, how does it make a, a benefit and effect for the body? So I'm going to dive into that with the different studies. So um, we, it's so important. Um, I really was out there looking for the absolute best source of uh, vegan vitamin D3. Um, so I found one that was organic, which was awesome because I love having organic products when they're available. Um, uh, the next part of this was the vitamin D3 that are currently on the market uh, are either from mushrooms or are from lichen, which is actually a fungi that is attached to an algae. And it's the fungi basically in mushrooms or, or in, in the lichen that are actually doing the conversion. Now, these fungi normally don't produce a lot of D3, but when they are artificially exposed to a lot of sunlight, they can actually convert the vitamin D2 that they normally produce to vitamin D3. So with that said, when you take those extracts, you can get impurities. Um, when you're taking whole lichen and the whole mushroom and stuff like that, what you get is a blend sometimes of vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. Well, I actually found something better. So this is pretty exciting because I found a source of organic pure vitamin D3. No vitamin D2 whatsoever. It's 100% pure vitamin D3. And why is that important? Well, a couple of studies have shown that vitamin D2 has zero effect on muscle strength, muscle growth, that sort of thing. And whereas vitamin D3 has multiple studies showing it. So D2 is basically not effective for muscle strength and performance, whereas vitamin D3 is. So big difference there. But some studies have, have and have inferred, and this isn't actually proven or, or weighed out yet, but it is suggesting in many different studies that D2 actually may interfere with the utilization of vitamin D3. So that could bring actually your vitamin D3 levels down by intaking vitamin D2. So this could be a problem. And then vitamin D2 in itself, not as effective as vitamin D3 for other reasons as well, not just uh, muscle health. So I really hadn't found a pure source of vitamin D3 until now. And I am so proud to be one of the very first to bring this to market. Uh, it's called Veg D3. It is the pure, first pure, 100% pure vitamin D3 in a vegan source from algae. And this algae naturally produces its own D3. It's not an artificial situation where it's forced to try to uh, produce vitamin D3. So this is really cool. And you can get the 100% pure form of vitamin D3 in its organic state, which is great. So now you got an organic version, a pure vitamin D3, and it's the only one that can go one-to-one -one directly with uh, vitamin D3 sourced from animal products, mostly uh, wool, which is where uh, animal source vitamin D3 comes from. It's actually the sheep's uh, body fat coming through the skin that's, that ends up on the wool, and then they take it off the wool since our body needs such small amounts of it. Um, so when you intake that vitamin D3, most people think of vitamin D3. Now they do think more about it for immune system, but most people originally thought D3 for bone health, right? And, and here's how that ties into muscle health. This is pretty cool. Um, so 
before I jump into that, let's let's talk down the, the benefits. Obviously, you've got immune health, you've got bone health, you've got heart health, and these are clinically uh, proven studies showing benefits. Heart health, breast health for vitamin D3, really important. And on the guy's side, prostate health, multiple studies on that too. Obviously, teeth, just like bones, so healthy teeth, vitamin D3, and even shown to promote uh, positive mood and better sleep. So, um, and even skin appearance, and finally, even boosting energy. Now, energy plays into the whole uh, health benefit, but also for cell uh, proliferation. This is the body's ability to actually produce new cells, to grow and build new cells. D3 plays a part in that too as well. Now, obviously building muscle is not about building new cells. So that's how D3 can be indirectly um, helpful for that as well. Now, what D3 does on the bone side, back to that, and how it ties into the muscle is very interesting. Check this out. So D3, we know, enhances the uh, calcium and phosphorus absorption, the uptake into the bones, which helps strengthen the bones. But even more importantly, it helps uh, boost a, uh, and stimulate the synthesis of something called osteocalcin. Now, this is a really cool material because osteocalcin is what creates those little fibers inside the bone. Now, if you took a bone and it was just, it was just calcium along the outside, it'd be pretty strong. But when you put a lattice work inside that bone, that's what makes the bone super strong. Just like bridge work. You ever see a bridge? If you put a bridge up, it's got all that lattice work in there, all those different ways, because each one of those lattices can brunt and take on some of the load of the weight. And this is why our bones are so strong, is all that webbing inside the bones. If you ever broken a bone and you look inside the bone, you can see all that webbing. That's osteocalcin at work. And that's what really gives our body those strong bones. Why it's so important for, especially women, once they get past menopause, to keep that healthy, strong bone. But also people who are athletic, you don't want to break a bone during your athletic, especially if you're a paid for performance athlete. So strengthening the bones is vital to your health. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So I'm going to pull up this study real quick on osteocalcin's other kind of cool uh, benefit. So this is, I'm going to post up the uh, study for you guys to see it right on the screen. Put it in the comment section. Uh, Christopher asked, is it a whole food supplement? No, it is an extract so that you're getting pure vitamin D3. If you got it in its whole food state, you'd have to have a lot of it to do that. Um, by doing this, you get exactly just what the body needs in its pure D3 state. Um, so the difference between vitamin D2 and vitamin D3, I discussed a little bit. So Raymond, uh, if you want to jump back after this is over and listen to the very beginning, uh, I discussed the differences of vitamin D2 and vitamin D3 and why D3 is so much more valuable especially in strength studies, which showed vitamin D3 had zero effect on muscle strength, whereas vitamin D3 had all the effect. Vitamin D2, no effect whatsoever. Um, so big difference if you're concerned about health and strength. Vitamin D2 is less bioactive and less effective, and it actually may inhibit or it discourage the body's ability to utilize or absorb um, or bioactivate uh, vitamin D3. So real important to try to get it. And that's why I was so excited about finding a pure vitamin D3 source from plants, the first vegan uh, vitamin D3 from algae, organic algae. Pretty exciting. And once again, I'm out there looking for the absolute best in you. I did not like the vitamin D3 sources that were available just because of that that potential for having uh, other materials in it, impurities and vitamin D2 blended with it, vitamin D3. It's just not what I was looking for. I was looking for a pure 
vitamin D3. And this is a crystal, 100% pure. So that's where I want it to be. And that's what makes this so exciting and so different. And why I love bringing these new uh, different forms in its pure vegan and plant-based source so that you get the absolute best that nature has to offer based on these new discoveries. Okay, getting back to the uh, osteocalcin. So remember, vitamin D3 helps upregulate the body's production and synthesis of osteocalcin, which then goes inside the bones and helps build strong bones by, by creating that lattice work that's inside the bones that strengthens it. Now, the body actually stores up osteocalcin and then actually pushes it into the bloodstream. Why does it do this? This is really cool. I kind of freaked out when I first read this study. I'm like, what? So what researchers found is that um, humans, uh, almost immediately after our brain recognizes there is a danger, the fight or flight mechanism, it instructs our skeletal system to flood the bloodstream with bone-derived hormone osteocalcin. Now, this is interesting because it's needed for the fight or flight response. Now, think of this. When you go to work out, you are using that fight or flight syndrome to push yourself through the workout, especially if you're working out with intensity. If you are doing a sports performance, you want to move, you want to run, your, your body is in that an animated state that is saying, I need a lot of energy. I need, I need to, you know, perform at my best because I'm, I'm calling on my body to be at peak level. Well, this is what the body does. The body takes that osteocalcin that's in the bone. Remember, it's upregulated by D3. So the more D3 you do, the more osteocalcin, the more you're signaling the body in this fight or flight mechanism. So that osteocalcin then gets into the body, into the cells, and regulates the metabolism of your muscle cells, enhancing its ability to uptake glucose from the bloodstream. How cool is that? And this is how it is shown in multiple studies to actually increase strength. You're getting, <laughs> this is neat, D3 goes in, upregulates osteocalcin, the body has a fight or flight mechanism like your, your intense workout, and then it releases that osteocalcin, which sends a signal, gets uptaken into the muscle cells, and then the muscle cells can absorb that glucose out of the bloodstream, giving you more strength to tackle that workout. Up to 18% increase in strength just by having optimal levels of vitamin D3. That's cool to me. I never knew this stuff. I love reading these studies. And when I read this study, I was like, ah, I got to share this. This is so exciting. Um, so there have been several studies that have shown increased muscle strength and increase um, uh, gains in muscle. But this actually shows the actual steps and mechanisms of one of the ways it enhances um, uh, our body's function. It not only helps humans run faster, uptake glucose better, greater endurance, so your muscles can actually last longer. Obviously, it's taking in more glucose. It has more endurance because of that. But how cool is that? So increased strength, increased endurance, all because of vitamin D3. And the sad part is <laughs> about last year, about 90% of the U.S. population by some, uh, by some of the uh, uh, scientific uh, studies out there had shown then 90% of people were insufficient, meaning not having high enough levels of vitamin D3 to perform at optimal levels. Now that's terrible because it's something we should all be doing since we're indoors most of our time, we're not getting that vitamin D activation. Most of us are vitamin or fiber deficient too. So you couple that with not having enough fiber to feed that microbiome so that the body can actually convert the D3 to a bioactive state. Remember that that's San Diego study that showed even though they were getting tons of direct sunlight exposure, their vitamin D levels were still insufficient because they weren't consuming enough fiber. So eating that plant-based diet while you're working out is not only helping you absorb and utilize and activate that vitamin D3, but then that vitamin D3 is 
boosting your osteocalcin, strengthening your bones, flooding your body with cell signalers that actually give you more glucose uptake, make you more insulin receptive, and insulin is anabolic. It helps muscles grow. So really cool cross mechanisms right here. And it all starts with just having optimal levels of vitamin D3. Now, this is what's cool. A study just came out on this new Veg D3 that I am launching. Um, so proud to be one of the very first in the market with it. But the study just came out. So perfect timing for the launch. The study actually showed, let me pull it up for just a second. All righty. So new published human study, Veg D3 was shown to be highly bioavailable and it increased a vitamin D plasma levels by 77% in a single small dose. And it's fast acting. Veg D3 was shown in that same study to take somebody from vegan deficient, not enough, to vegan sufficient, that's enough to do it, in just seven days seven days to take somebody from deficiency to full efficiency. That's awesome. <laughs> I love this when it's backed by human studies. It's shown to be bioavailable. It is 100% organic, 100% pure, and from plant-based source. This is just what I love doing. And I love bringing this stuff so that you have the benefits, so that you can add this to your regimen and have the most optimal health. Remember to take a good source of, uh, uh, if you're doing protein, why not do clean green protein, which has got 33% of your, 35% uh, of your uh, uh, fiber for the entire day. That means you take your vitamin D3 with a little bit of clean green protein, you're gonna use that fiber to feed your microbiome, convert that uh, vitamin D3 to a bioactive form and boost your strength and muscle growth. That's how it all works together. That's what I love when products that are positioned for health and fitness can work together to bring you optimal health and optimal fitness levels. And that's how at 58 years of age, I can get 17 and a half inch arms and, and maintain them just in the last two months. Yeah, that's right. I, I stopped working out for the entire lockdown period of 10 months, lost 20 pounds, right? <laughs> I know a lot of people are gaining weight, but I lost it because I lost mostly muscle. But in just two months, I'm back to full and actually even better than I was at 58 years of age. So no more excuses. This is an all natural body. Uh, clean, just as, uh, as I am trying to encourage other people to stay clean, stay healthy, and do it the plant-based way, you're going to get better results, you're going to be stronger, you're going to be fitter, you're going to have a more fit inside too, and when your body is working in optimal nutritional states, re remember your body, when you work out, actually lowers your immune system for a short while. Now, overall fitness, increases the body's ability to have a healthy immune response. So fitness is great, but after an intense workout, it does reduce yours. That vitamin D3 can help improve your immune system too. So that's another place where vitamin D3, especially in its pure state can really help out. So um, let's just go briefly over some of the things of why this is important. One, it's organic, which is great to have an organic, affordable source of vitamin D3. Two, it is the only one that can be used as a one-to-one -one replacement for animal source, pure cholecalciferol vitamin D3. It is the only one that is 100% pure and does not have any impurities in it, um, like lichen or mushrooms may have, depending on uh, the source. So it doesn't have any vitamin D2 in it, which is one third as effective as vitamin D3 in published studies. It's optimal for muscle health, for bone health, for heart health, for breast health, for teeth health, uh, for prostate health. And of course, now you know, increased muscle strength. Actually, when you're D deficient, this, the published studies have shown that 
you so these uh, a deficiency in vitamin D3 is associated with a decline in physical performance, loss of muscle strength, and decreased muscle mass. So you lose muscle mass, you lose muscle strength, you lose the ability to perform at that level all when you are in a vitamin D3 deficient state. That's published human research. Getting that vitamin D3 uh, level up so that you can for, perform at your best, but also so the work you do in the gym actually literally translates to real results. When you are operating at a whole healthy level, um, uh, that's when your body can operate it at its best. So, yeah, you can get your blood levels tested. Um, your the test will tell you whether you're sufficient, uh, deficient, or or optimal, um, and then you can go from there. Um, what I did is built so the WHO put together a consortium of uh, the top uh, vitamin D3 experts in the world and came to a conclusion that for the vast majority of people of 4,000 IUs per day, or basically 100 micrograms, I believe that's right, 100 micrograms, 4,000 IUs, is the ideal, the sweet spot. it will cover people who are a little bit heavier. Because remember, vitamin D3, if you, care, if you are carrying more body fat, Vitamin D3 is fat soluble. So the more fat you have, the more that fat is gonna suck up the vitamin D3 and hold on to it. So you have less bioactive or circulating vitamin D3 available. So the heavier you are in body weight, the more you might wanna consider taking. Also the color of your skin. So as a defense mechanism, our body, uh, the original humans, okay, I won't say it that way. Uh, people living in Africa, <laughs> Are, are very dark skin because they're exposed to sunlight. That is the body's adaptation by producing melanin in the skin to darken the skin so the skin reflects some of the sunlight instead of absorbing the sunlight. So as humans moved out of Africa into colder climates where there's less sun because of the curvature of the earth, as we moved north, our skin got lighter and lighter. Our bodies stopped producing that melanin and that's how we that's how, like me, I have a lighter skin because I have lower amounts of uh, melanin and that's so more of the sunlight actually gets absorbed into my skin so that I get more vitamin D. So melanin or the color of your skin is actually a mechanism that our bodies, all human bodies do in order to regulate the amount of vitamin D3. That's the mechanism for vitamin D3 regulation. If you're getting a lot of sunlight, like in Africa, you have darker skin. If you're in the Mediterranean, a little bit more mid middle uh, browner skin. Uh, and then as you get into the Northern, lighter and lighter skin, because lighter skin allows more sunlight in. When you have lower amounts of sunlight available, like in the North, you need more of that sun coming in to activate the vitamin D3. So this 4,000 IU amounts were actually set for ideal for a cross for everybody. Because I didn't want to set them like, you know, some say, oh, 2,000 is sufficient but they were looking at mostly Caucasian white males in the, in the study. And I hate that. That's such, a, that's such a wrong way to approach this. I wanted to approach it where the ideal amount for almost everyone. Obviously, if you're very, very dark skin and living indoors and not getting any direct sunlight, you might want to increase it from there. And if you are very heavy and carrying a lot of extra body fat, Remember that fat soaking up the vitamin D3, you may want to take a little bit more too. But this, that 4,000 was the highest uh, uh, body, the WHO, with all those researchers and vitamin D3 said that one should cover almost everybody with the exceptions of a few outliers there. And I wanted a dose that really effectively covered that, that was actually recommended by the top researchers and that. And that's why I put 4,000 IUs in there to give that optimal level. Remember, this took people in a published human study from deficient to sufficient in seven days. Now that's amazing. So that's what I was looking for. And once again, I'm gonna bring you something that is, I think the best for your body, the best that nature has to offer in its pure form, the only 100% pure vegan D3 um, that is from organic algae. That's super exciting. 
I hope you enjoy it. Um, watch more later as we launch it. Um, if you're watching this right now, we'll be launching it hopefully next week or shortly thereafter. Uh, next week is uh, mid-May. Uh, uh, 2021. If you're watching this in the future, if this is uh, uh, June 2021 or later, uh, it's probably right in stock and you can check it out on our website at cleanmachineonline.com. So I hope you enjoyed this. I always am looking for things. I'm tying in why omega-3s are important for muscle health and fitness levels, why vitamin D3 is, why that fiber in our protein is, why even that chlorophyll in our protein is. And if you haven't watched our, um, our my video on chlorophyll and how it boosts uh, energy levels similar to what you'd experience in, cre in taking creatine, yeah, chlorophyll, the green stuff, you'll understand why uh, consuming greens uh, is great for your fitness results as well as your overall health. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun putting this together. I'm excited about our launch and I'm excited to be the first company out there bringing this uh, new form of uh, pure organic vegan D3 to you. Enjoy, we'll see you next week.